Hello everyone, and welcome back to the series where you can level up your Weeb level by learning some trivia on the Japanese culture and language, and some nuances that were lost in the translation of an anime. In this case, for the first episode of Yamada Kunto Levelu Kyuyaku Kyujuku no Koyosuru. Let's start by quickly looking at the names of the characters. Japanese name doesn't always have a deep meaning, but authors can sometimes choose one that reflects some part of the character personality. Akane is the word for a shade of red, based on a type of plant that has red roots that are often used in dai. Yamada is a pretty common Japanese name, and it's written with mountain and rice field. Momo is peach, and the full name of Furukawa Takuma is Old River, and Takuma could be from Takumashi, which means strong or sturdy. The term that Akane used to describe Yamada after he mentioned the 0.01% drop rate was hygiene. Originally, it was a term to talk about an obsolete person, someone that doesn't live a normal lifestyle. It was used to talk about people with drug addiction or mental issue, but it's now mostly an internet slang for someone seriously addicted to an online game. A pretty common Japanese expression to talk about lashing out your anger on someone not really related to the issue, like what Akane did to Yamada during the in-game scene, is Yatsu Atari. The interesting part of that expression is that if you take it literally, it's something like 8 and hip. The number 8 is often associated with Hapo, 8 directions to talk about the four cardinal and the four ordinal directions. The expression pretty much gives the image of hitting in all eight directions, without really seeing what is there. One of the ways that Akane was able to make the link between Yamada in real life and the one in-game, was that when he is talking, he often dropped the de of his desu, resulting in things like sosune, instead of the normal so desune. It was lost in the translation, but during the izakaya scene, Yamada addresses Akane as Onesan, and it can show that Yamada sees her as someone older than him, more mature. The game in the anime, Progress of Savior, is most certainly a reference to the real game Tree of Savior an MMORPG that was created as a spiritual successor of Ragnarok Online. This might very well not be relevant, but on the login screen we can see that there is going to be an update on September 21st to a new quest. This one is a very small thing, but it caught my eye that Akane wrote good morning in the game as Ohio using the kanji form which is usually wrong just in hiragana by most people. That's all I had for this episode, and you know what to do. Like this video to let me know if you want me to continue this series. Comment about the thing that you found the most interesting or surprising. And of course, subscribe if you want to have more chance seeing when I upload more stuff.